upcoming uh, young referee that we have and uh, speaks very good for the future. Uh, in 2014, uh, I played as a scrum half uh, and a fly half. Uh, I got an opportunity to uh, play for Bradby. Uh, that was the first leg uh, which was held uh, in the Royal Complex. I was as a substitute, uh, to be honest, and uh, I got the message saying, uh, Jama, uh, start warming up. Uh, you had to participate in this game. I was so surprised uh, on that uh, on the situation, and I got myself into a correct mind, uh, making sure I do my uh, part for Royal College. It was like a dream for me, going into the field and uh, just being a part of the Bradby. Uh, when I got into the field, uh, I was so excited, and uh, the main thing I witnessed was the screens all over the place and uh, the spectators. Uh, a huge number of uh, spectators were present at that event. Uh, it was a great atmosphere uh, to play, play with. And uh, the most memorable part was when I uh, tackled Tarinda Ratwat at the Bradby. Uh, that was my main highlight uh, during the game. And of course, Akil Jamaldin in charge of arbiting this, an old royalist, but nobody has any problems with that in the Trinity jersey, Boa, and that's really good to see. Yeah, look, I think he's one of the best rated referees in the country, and if both schools haven't got a problem, then he should be there. So, all eyes on the referee. Obviously, there may be some questions of non-neutrality, but I guess all that will be answered, and he can only do his best possible job. Five years later, I got an opportunity to uh, referee a Bradby, uh, which I never thought of. So uh, the week before, I got a call saying that you have been appointed uh, to referee the Bradby. Uh, I was so uh, nervous when I uh, received that call. Then from there onwards, what my focus was to, to mainly focus on what I have to do during the game rather than uh, thinking of uh, what I did as a player and uh, what the coaches might think when I'm refereeing. Uh, then there have been some argument uh, saying that I'll be biased uh, on the game uh, because I, wa I was there playing for Roy College. Uh, for me, that was not an issue because uh, if Kumar Dharmasen can umpire a Sri Lankan game, uh, why cannot I referee a Bradby Shield? So uh, that came into my mind and what I thought was just to focus on what I have to do on the game. I have been there and I have uh, uh, been at this atmosphere and uh, I know what the players are doing at that moment. So I just went through the uh, past uh, Bradby Shield. I made an analysis uh, what the players are doing throughout the season, uh, this season, and uh, make note of each and every player, uh, how they are, how their techniques, uh, plus their skills, and uh, from there onwards, I uh, spoken to my uh, ARs saying that this might happen, this might happen, but throughout the game, it happened as planned, and I was so uh, amazed, I was so happy uh, after the game. Uh, the feedback I got from the uh, from everybody was a positive response, uh, but still there were arguments saying that he, he he's a old royalist and uh, he still made some wrong calls. But for me, I was really happy because uh, because of the uh, performance I made during the game. It worked as a, as what I planned, and uh, everybody's happy. And he has another yes, referral from yes, uh, There are two I uh, have been uh, spotted. One at the 5 meter line, one at the uh, try line. Uh, make sure, can you make sure whether it's... Uh, so he's looking at a couple of things here. Is he's shoulder. looking at the tackle. Very clear instructions, this is beautiful to see. And that's a red. Uh, the main reason why I came into this uh, refereeing field was because I have played rugby for 13 years and uh, after school I thought of not continuing rugby as a player. Then uh, after a few months I have watched some of my uh, brother Ashish Jamal uh, playing uh, for Candy SC. Then uh, 
from there onwards, I thought, why I can't join as a coach or a referee and uh, be a part, be a part of uh, rugby. So um, there onwards, I thought of joining as a coach, but it didn't go well because I, I have to focus on my studies and uh, as well as my job. So then there onwards, I thought of why I can't be a referee. Then uh, I asked from my father, uh, is it okay if I become a referee? He said no. The, I, had, I asked from him several times. His response was the same, same uh, the answer was no. Then uh, again, during the school season in 2015, I asked a few times again. His next answer was, if something happens, uh, don't blame him. So that was his answer. Then I took up the challenge and uh, from there onwards, I continued refereeing. Being a referee in Sri Lanka takes a lot of girls because, uh, you know, people start uh, blaming on the referee after a game and uh, the winning side doesn't say anything, the losing side counters referee saying this and that. So uh, it takes a lot of guts when you come into the field uh, in Sri Lanka, but when it comes to international level or in other country, it's the culture is totally different because uh, what they do is they have fun, uh, they, have, they enjoy the game and uh, they understand their own mistakes and uh, they never blame on the referee because they know that uh, the referees are responsible of their decisions and if they make a wrong call, they know what, uh, what procedures they have to follow in the future games. Uh, in Sri Lanka, it's the opposite because if, if a team uh, loses, what they do is put the blame on the referee and uh, that shouldn't happen because uh, it's, it's not the culture we are uh, looking for. Uh, we have to start from the uh, junior age uh, from there onwards, we have to teach them how to enjoy the game uh, rather than uh, focusing on the referee. And uh, there are so many mistakes uh, we have to correct on. I hope uh, the coaches, the players, the referees and the administration get together and uh, uplift this uh, game of rugby in Sri Lanka. My future plans, uh, I have dreamt from uh, the start of my refereeing career was to blow the uh, Hong Kong 7 series uh, which is uh, very hard to be in and uh, for now as a short term plan uh, what I will focus on is the Asian 7 series uh, I hope I hope that I'll be uh, selected for the uh, for the upcoming tournament and uh, from there onwards I will focus on uh, game by game Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content.